What is up everyone? Welcome back to Homes We Love. I'm your host Sylvani Aneza and today we're back in Hyde Park and we're about to tour a beautifully interior designed apartment with four bedrooms, two bathrooms, one reception room and it's on the market for 7.25 million pounds of Chestertons. I'd like to thank them as well as the owners for allowing us to tour it today. Let's get started. So the apartment is nestled in this beautiful, well-maintained Georgian building with original character features like this ornate metal and wooden banister. We have a lift that comes up to this floor. Now, this is a lateral apartment that runs across three buildings with approximately 2,800 square feet of interior space. We have a guest bedroom through there, a kitchen through there, a living room and all the other bedrooms in that direction. I wanna start the tour in the kitchen. It's massive with enough space here for a dining table, a sofa and an island. It's a beautiful country style kitchen with two contrasting tones on the cabinetry. The ceilings are 4.5 meters high, which means you get so much more volume and it makes the space look even bigger than it already is. The island, of course, provides you more counter space for food prep and you get storage at the bottom and the thing that I particularly like about this is this drawer that you can pull out so you can easily access everything at the back. I really like that we have a pendant light at the top here and we've got recess lights with LED lighting and cornicing that's part of the original features that we talked about at the beginning. Let's start here with the fridge. Full length, I love the detailing on the handle as well, Miele, and then we have an undermount sink. We have have vintage fixtures we'll see more of this vintage feel coming out in the rest of the apartment we have space here for the bins organized nicely and another space here for the bin liners and we have a dishwasher in here Miele as well and then over here we have a drawer that pulls everything out so you can access everything at the back really easily and then we have an appliance cupboard just here perfect for all your bits and bobs you may have lying around the countertop but I like that it's some what a tea station and they've got spices in here as well really nice and organized and then we have plenty of counter space a nice large melee stove and we have a nice beautiful gas oven as well melee we have an extractor fan at the top plenty of storage at the top as well really love the design they've gone for and you can see we've got soft lighting just above the cabinetry emphasizing the design that we have on the hood just here on this side we have three massive french doors that are so tall we've tried some windows at the top i like the unique design on the handles just here let's head to the terrace so we have a beautiful large terrace coming off the kitchen but it also runs all the way along the side of the property so you have nine doors that lead onto this terrace or slash balcony i love the design on the railing as well part of the original features really giving the whole space character and we have a garden there that's the gloucester square garden where you have access to if you live in this apartment which is really nice but we're not going to head out there just yet um, let's head back inside and have a look around at the rest of the apartment so we also have these original shutters that are for security purposes and they block out the light and we have two pendant lights one above the island and one above the dining table now i really like that this is a bench because you can fit more people onto it and on that side we have two temperature controlled wine fridges one here and one here and of course we've got more counter space but they've used it as a place to put their tv let's move through coming from the kitchen i want to talk about the entrance hall where we first started really quickly we have a nice classic chandelier at the top with beautiful original cornicing i love how high these skirting boards are as well they add an air of elegance to the space we have enough space here for a console table and a chair so this hallway is actually quite massive let's head to the study so we have floor to ceiling built-in cabinetry i love the detailing on the doors here but look how much storage this offers and we have a built-in desk area with recess lights at the top there and the switches for that are just here on this side we have a beautiful original window very nice and tall giving us loads of natural light and we have another one of those modern radiators that we saw before on this side we have a plain wall but i really like that we have 
um, layering in the wall just here because I think it's the perfect place to place a bed should you want to turn this into a guest bedroom when someone comes to stay with you. We have a modern linear light fixture at the top, beautiful corner sink, part of the original features, similar to what we have in the rest of the apartment. And we have a guest toilet in here, really beautiful, very classic and vintage. I love the style. I want to start with this marble fabricated sink. Just the detailing here alone is beautiful and look at these vintage taps as well and I like that this one kind of looks like a pipe it's so cool I love these two beautiful sconces they look like something out of a fantasy film almost like dragon eggs if you know what I mean it's so cool and we have a really nice wide mirror I love the tiling they've gone for as well it kind of looks like alligator skin it's so cool and we've got a different texture at the top there and then over here we have a recessed in shelf with recessed lights at the top and I like that we have glass shelving in there but that's it from this space I want to head to the living room next this way so we enter through these beautiful double doors that make the space look even more open and more grand than it already is on this side we have a feature wall with wallpaper that beautifully complements the tones we have throughout the rest of the apartment. We have two really unusual wall sconces really making a statement and enough space here for a console table. We also have plug sockets built into the floor as well and we have three more of these beautiful French doors that lead out onto the balcony and then of course we've got the shutters as well I really like the curtain rod style at the top that they've gone for again very elegant and speaks to the style of the rest of the apartment and then of course this here is the centerpiece of the room beautiful fireplace just love it it's cold outside so I just love standing here it just feels so nice and warm and just really cozy it's very deep and nice and tall this marble I love the detailing they've got on there as well and of course in the middle at the top we have a very nice unique chandelier that's quite a different style to what we're used to seeing but all in all it's quite cool we have enough space here on that side for two more console tables all in all this space is stunning that way we have another guest bedroom but I want to head to the principal bedroom first and take a look around. It's through here, come on. So here we have the principal bedroom. Again, space is not an issue. Daylight is not an issue either because we have two more doors leading onto the balcony on that side. And on this side, we have plenty of space. Look at this really cool mirror. Isn't that really cool? I love these two wall sconces as well. They're quite different and unique, kind of giving us vintage vibes, but very interesting design. Great furniture selection. And then on this side, we have enough space for a console table and the two doors to the balcony that we talked about. Through this way, we have a bathroom for the principal bedroom. And firstly, we have this beautiful freestanding tub vintage i love the style of this whole space beautifully works well together look at the tiling we have on the floor and the way it contrasts with the white we have on the walls and then you have the white in the marble as well everything ties in really well together again this tub works really well with the space as well and these aren't actually vintage but they almost look vintage it's so cool and i love that we have layers here as well because you have um, the middle area that's lower than these two sides where you have the shower and the toilet and the bathtub. Over here we have another door to the terrace or balcony and I think there's something quite romantic and like old time Paris and London that you'd see in those movies in being able to sit here, have a bath and stare out the window and the balcony. I think it's so beautiful. We have sheer blinds for your privacy as well. All in all, it's just stunning. Let's head over here and take a look at these dual sinks with a really unique design on the marble. It's really unusual. And then we have space here for your salt bar. It's quite, again, like I said, vintage. And of course, we've got more of these um, tabs as well. And then on this side, we have the toilet and a walk-in shower. Nice size again, but all in all, it's a really stunning ensuite. I just love it. Let's head out. I'm gonna head to a room that's being used as a closet at the moment, 
but it can actually be used as a small single bedroom but yeah right now it's a closet with again more cabinetry on that side and that side enough space for him and her but if you wanted to you could remove some of those cabinetries and have a bed right here and you'd have plenty of space all in all it's a great size closet now I want to head downstairs to the laundry room down here and take a quick look around so this is a simple utility room as you can see but it's a great size and I think that you know for what it is it's just perfect so this way we have another room which is kind of a study but it's being used as a storage room right now and it has quite a lot of personal belongings that the owners don't want us to film so we won't be filming it today and then this way we have the third bedroom we've seen today this way it's a beautiful room um stunning on this side, we have a built-in bookshelf with glass shelving in the middle and a recessed light, more storage at the bottom. And I really like that there's space up there for your art pieces and it's lit up with soft lighting, really beautiful. We have more original cornicing at the top and we have two large windows on this side. They practically take up the whole wall. Isn't that really great? You're never short of natural light. And of course, we've got sheer blinds for privacy. Look how high these windows go, beautiful. And then we have a nice feature wall on this side. I really love the texture and the colors in the wallpaper. They really make the whole space kind of just pop. And we have more soft lighting above that wall. And again, more space for your artwork if you wanted to. And I really love how everything comes nicely together. There's an ensuite on this side. Again, quite nice and vintage, that classic look, and I think it works really well with the rest of the apartment. We've got a freestanding sink just here, and we have a shower on this side, wall to wall mirror on this side, and another vintage toilet. I wanna head now to the garden so you can see what you get with the apartment when you purchase it. Let's head outside now. So here we have this private residential garden that's only accessible to the people who live on this square. We have a beautiful archway just here. We have benches. I really like how that tree almost fell, but they found a way to keep it up. It almost looks like a sculpture, which is really cool. More benches on that side, and we have a nice plant just in the middle here, and there's a kiddie section over there. But you have so much space, and you know this place is not gonna get crowded in the summer if you want to come out here and chill, because it's literally only available to the people living on this square. But that is it from us. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end. Thanks again to Chestertons as well as the owners for allowing us to tour this property today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, bye bye.